Hey there, this is Brad Miller from Cartuzo, and today we're talking about the importance of SEO. But before we get started, I want to remind you that you can check us out at Cartuzo.com for more information about internet marketing online. Okay, so back to today's topic at hand, is SEO still necessary today? Yes, SEO is relevant and necessary as it has always been. This is because that while the internet is based upon rankings on search engines, companies and commercial enterprises online will be trying to increase their rankings in order to attract a larger number of customers. However, SEO does not mean that we're all trying to compete with the huge global brands. For many small local companies, they need to work with a good SEO team who can help them boost their rankings and increase their customers at a much more local level. With the advent of mobile web, this has become increasingly more important. People can now access information about local companies and find the products and services they need via the internet on their phones. As a result, local businesses that make themselves visible and clearly accessible via mobile web can have a great success and pick up those extra customers that they otherwise would not have been able to. Because the internet has changed so much and how we use it has changed, SEO has had to change accordingly as well. These changes involve the tactics a team will use to boost your rankings of a website. Search engine optimization is not overnight magic, and it's certainly not a magic formula. SEO involves a range of tactics that look at keywords, link building, and creating high quality content. In addition, it involves advertising campaigns like pay-per-click or banner advertising, and it also involves marketing on other websites like social media sites. Article marketing, PR and guest blogging are also ways to boost your SEO. An excellent team will help you develop a strategic SEO plan which will use a range of all of these white hat tactics. They will not employ any black hat, illegal or unfair tactics that involve cheating or spamming. Recent changes to Google's algorithms have also changed how SEO is delivered, but this is not a bad thing. Secondly, companies that use poor techniques and were once able to sell their services as fast and cheap ways to climb the search engine rankings, well, they're not so desirable now because those things just don't work. These are the companies that promise amazing results literally overnight. They're the ones who guarantee those thousands of followers within days. Now, be extremely cautious of these types of companies. There's a chance that they're using underhanded black hat techniques and that they may even be employing people to pretend to follow your social media pages or like your Facebook page. Don't be tempted to use a company like this. If black hat behavior is spotted by Google, your brand and website will be penalized, not the company that delivered the tactics for you. And it can be a long, hard road to restoring your good company reputation once you've lost that. Better to work with an honest SEO team who will use a range of tactics and develop a long-term strategic plan that will give you return on the investment and visibility online within a reasonable time frame. The results will be tangible and you'll see real growth in leads and sales over time. Finally, remember that good SEO takes knowledge and expertise. Not just anyone can deliver the best, most effective SEO, so you need to do some research to find the best team to work for you. However, it's definitely important and it's worth it. Once you find the right company, you'll reap the benefits of great SEO and the real results. Things will keep changing, but there's no doubt about it. SEO will remain an important aspect of internet business and online commercial practices for as long as we are buying and selling. I hope you all enjoyed today's video, and I hope you remember that you can check us out anytime at Cartuzo.com. My name's Brad Miller, and I'll see you later.